Sean, seriously, last three games, you've had a man sent off in every game. This is about time now Sam read the right act to the players and said, look, we can't keep going on playing at a disadvantage with one man down. Well, <laughs> you've got to say we play quite well with 10 men. You know, it might be that Nolan first went off and I think the midfield's changed since then. You know, I'm fortunate about Matty Taylor. I think, yeah. you know, Billy Sharp made a big deal about it. But, you know, we we play with more determination with 10 men. Now, of course, we can't carry on like that. We've got to have discipline. But, I mean, this is the mode of champions, isn't it? If you can win, get seven points out of nine, going down to 10 men, three games on the trot, it's a champion trait, isn't it? Am I I right in thinking it was 2-1 when you had 11 men and then you got a man sent off, you didn't even have a reserve goalkeeper on the bench, another strange decision... And you won 4-1. And this goes back to what we were saying, Sean, about the sending yeah. off actually galvanised the team. Because yeah. what they did is they defended further up the pitch and they made sure they protected Henry, who went in goal. Yeah. Henry is not yeah. goalkeeper, just went in goal because he was on the bench. I, I dare say Sam's actually had a little look round and yeah. gone, right, boys, which one of you? Henry's put his hand up and then the team have defended him. Well, well I it's, think it's, he's been goal before us, because... Henry Lansbury is actually winning goal for the England under-21. So we, Sam had already said to the fans, you know, he's our reserve goalkeeper. We've got a bit more of a problem. We've got our reserve goalkeeper, Stetch, who if we play him two more times, we've got to pay £700,000 to Prague. So <laughs> oh, right. we're, yeah, so, we're so being very cautious then? there. But I tell you what, Henry Lansbury, what a goalkeeper. And he could be a goalkeeper all the time. But, yeah, I mean, we, yeah. we, we played really well. It's this silly rule of five substitutes. Yeah. And uh, we've... We, we, I think for about five games now, we've played without a substitute goalkeeper. Hang on, Sean, let me just ask Flash if he's come across... Have you ever come across a situation where an outfield player has also been the reserve goalkeeper before? No, but but when I was at Sheffield Wednesday, David yeah. Hurst would, would have gone in goal. But right. again, we didn't have, like... Uh, I think we only had three subs in them days, and it yeah. was very rarely going to be a goalkeeper. So I you see. have a player in your team that would go in goal. You know, you know, Sean, at Manchester United, Wayne Rooney always claims if it ever happened to them, he would go in goal. He, he, no, he reckons he's no, the best goalkeeper in but training. But Rio goes in goal anyway, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, he does, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the other thing, Sean, is I had four yeah. people around the house last night and we had the... Um, they were all drinking very heavily, by the way, as you it, can tell. It was, uh, it was obviously Napoli and Chelsea and in the, in the background we had the radio on and obviously, we, we, obviously coming from a Southampton point of view, mm. we had Birmingham winning 3-1, we had um, West Ham winning 2-1, we yeah. had Middlesbrough winning 3-1, so nothing could have gone worse. Yeah. And then the West Ham keeper gets sent off, yeah. the biggest cheer of the night, yeah. and then they go and score a third and a fourth, fourth honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, you've got to ask whether the, the sending off changed the game. You know, we were 2 0 up and controlling it first half. Yeah. In the dying seconds of the first half, we conceded a goal. They started really strongly, second half, and it looked like they were about to score before, you know, Green came out and yeah. took the man out. I reckon it could have been equal. And I'll tell you what, Blackpool didn't know what to do when we went down to 10 men. It, they panicked. They were like rabbits yeah. in the headlights. Yeah. But, and we just capitalised and, and that we ended up 4-1. They, yeah, but they, you see, they, Sean, you forgot one very important fact, and that is that Everton absolutely battered them at the weekend in the <laughs> FA Cup fifth round. And now in the sixth round, we finished them off in six minutes, OK? Uh, yeah, that's what but also, like. they were unbeaten in the league in seven games. They've only lost two games yeah. at Blackpool all season, and they were unbeaten in the league for seven I th- games. I think, so they're think they're a very good team. I think they're a very good team. Southampton have got to go there, Yeah, you know? yeah Southampton have got to go there. Right, look, Sean, we've got to move on, mate, because we've got another West Ham fan on the line who wants to add his uh, views to the argument. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Very clear Good picture you've got on, luck, your, on your Skype. Yeah, we'll see you on the Skype wall again very soon. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, let's keep up on the Skype wall. West Ham fans coming in in their dozens here. There's Joe. He's a West Ham fan. Joe, good evening to you. Good evening to you, mate. Yeah, Joe, uh, the situation with uh, Sam Allardyce is this. He wasn't altogether welcome when he first arrived. Did he play football the West Ham way? But my goodness me, he's been pretty damned effective so far, hasn't he? Oh, uh, more, more than uh, he's made me happy as a fan to watch him the way he's changed the team around. The last time we was in the championship, we had to uh, satisfy with a playoff position. Now we look like we're going to win it. What about the amount of sending offs that you get? Is it just over exuberance? Is it unlucky? Uh, I think it's very unlucky as well. Some of the uh, decisions are disgraceful. Uh, but if the players are showing that kind of hunger, I, I, I can't see it being a problem. But we've got to sort it out. Because if we was in the Premiership, we wouldn't be able to keep playing that well in that kind of league. With maybe 10, it's the Sam way of playing football. Maybe it's, you know, it's up and atom. Maybe it's aggressive. Maybe it's uh, wholehearted football. Yeah, yeah. I, I reckon it's just uh, too much heart, too much hunger for it. And it is a bit, uh, bit too aggressive, I suppose. 
but I, and this is what I was going to say about uh, West Ham at the moment. How many of that, them, that team, that squad... I think he's got a squad of players to get him back in the Premiership yeah. and then a lot of them won't be given the opportunity to go and apply their trade in the Premiership because he'll bring in new players. I think this is an out-and-out -out ploy, this is an out-and-out -out plan just to make sure they get the job done in the Championship. And you know, as a uh, first day yeah. of the season, I'm yeah. a Southampton fan in this league, yeah. but I said that I can't see anyone beating West Ham. Right, OK. Do you think Mark Noble is, a, is going to be a Premiership yeah, player? Yeah, without a doubt. Sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. Bad. He's gonna be a very, he's gonna be our new Scott Parker. He plays very similar to him. He's always working hard. He's just, yeah, I reckon he's gonna do well in the Premiership, and I reckon okay, he's gonna start so, getting so, England credit. Uh, so, but Flash is saying that in that case, Mark Noble must be one of only two or three players who are gonna survive no, in the uh, in, when West Ham move back into the Premiership. Well, then. I think they've probably got half a dozen to seven seven players that would would play in the Premiership. Obviously, you know the keeper's gonna be okay. You know that maybe one or two of the strikers are gonna be okay. But defensively, and the reason I say this is because they they struggle to break teams down when they go to Upton Park. Yeah. Their away form is absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Because they know how to get the job done away from home. Yeah. When you're at home, you need a few more Mark Nobles who can actually open up sides right. when they come to defend. Yeah. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, yeah, very fair. But um, I reckon they should be given a chance at the start of the season, see how it goes, maybe January start bringing in new defenders then. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that in the Premiership because if you get off to a bad start, then other teams, they, they start getting momentum on you yeah. and you don't want to be playing from behind in the, the bottom three. You can't play yeah, from behind yeah. the eight ball. You've got to hit the ground running like Blackpool did, although mm. their wheels fell off, yep. like Stoke have, like New, uh, Norwich have done. Yep. OK. Joe, yeah. we've got to move on, mate. I'm awfully sorry. We're, we're short That's of time. Fine. Loads of fans want to uh, get in touch with us tonight, but I really want to appreciate you for coming on the show and I hope we'll see you on the Skype wall again very soon. Yes, very soon, mate. Cheers. Thank, Thank, you, very much. Thank you very much indeed. Joe there, West Ham fan.